So we will start just like last week with candle gazing. I have my candle here. I'll switch off the distractions. So it's important to do this exercise in a dark room so that you can focus on the flame. And you want the flame to be one arm's distance away from your eyes and preferably eye height so that you're gazing straight at the flame. If you don't have a candle right now, you can just find a point of focus with your eyes and concentrate there. It's still a good cleansing exercise, prataka, focusing with the eyes. If you have a mirror close by, it's always a beautiful exercise to focus on your eyes, to just look at your reflection in the mirror and focus on your eyes. Magical things might happen. So take your time to find what you need to find. A flame, a point of focus, maybe a picture of a loved one or of a teacher or uh, your eyes in the mirror. You want to feel comfortable, so sit up straight. You can sit on a chair or uh, sit on top of something, on top of a blanket, on top of a block. What we want is an anterior pelvic tilt reaching the sit bones back and then pulling the belly in to reach the chest up. Keep your chest proud, roll your shoulders all the way back and down, reach up through the back of the skull. The top back of the skull is called the Bindu point, so we want to reach the Bindu all the way up to the sky and you'll feel a stretch at the back of your neck. You want to keep that integrity of the body throughout the practice, but it's okay if you're just comfortable and focusing on the flame. That's what you want. You want the intention of a straight, comfortable seat and you want your eyes to focus on the flame or on your point of focus for today. Make sure the body is relaxed, the shoulder blades are relaxed down the back, the forehead is relaxed, eyebrows, jaw relaxed. You can open your eyes slightly wider open than normal. And keep all of your attention on the flame, on your point of focus. Different distractions come up either from your mind, from your vision, or from outside your body. That's normal. You don't have to hide from them. But you return to the exercise, come back to gazing at the flame, at your point of focus. Your eyes open, slightly wider open than normal. Resist any tendency to blink. Again, just have that intention. And keep all of your focus, your undivided focus on that narrow point you're looking at.
entering the last minute of our practice. Trataka, focusing at a point. It could be a flame, it could be anything of significance to you. Just keep your eyes there, keep focusing there. And trap that image into your mind and we'll close our eyes when you close your eyes you want to keep that image of the flame or whatever you were looking at trapped right at that point at the middle of your eyebrows if you need a reminder you can open your eyes and then Close them again, trap that image to the center of the eyebrows. Use your focus, use your, all of your attention, all of your intention to hold that image still and prominent at the eyebrow center. Keep your body relaxed and keep that image strong. If you're not that powerful with visualization, do your best. Do your best to feel whatever what you were looking at feels like. To feel a vibration. To listen to that vibration. But keep that idea that you were looking at strong and prominent at the eyebrow center. Now whatever what you were looking at was, turn that into warmth. Feel a strong sense of warmth at the eyebrow center. Make it as narrow as possible. A one-pointed focus at the eyebrow center and make that point feel warm, hot. body is relaxed and you're focusing on that feeling of hotness at the eyebrow center then feel that heat and feel that you're in control of that heat we're going to draw that feeling all the way down to the point behind our belly button our navel center so with intention with imagination with visualization bring that feeling that warmth that heat all the way down to the point behind your belly button. Feel a fire behind the belly button and make that fire strong and comforting. This is not a fire that's going to burn your life. This is a fire that's going to cleanse you, that's going to burn up everything that you don't need. Keep that feeling of the cleansing fire strong behind the belly button. And then from there, we're going to move into our first breathing exercise. This is also a Kriya, a cleansing breath. So with your focus at the eyebrow, at the navel center, feel the fire there and breathe into the fire, breathe into the belly. Exhale. Feel how you're clinging onto that fire at the, at the navel center. Inhale into that fire. And exhale, hold on to that fire, that point of focus. Keep breathing into your belly. We're going to our Kapalapati exercise, skull shining breath. 
So focusing at the navel center and focusing at that fire there behind the belly button, we're going to do short, sharp, quick exhale breaths. Exhaling through the nose, unless for any reason you need to do it through the mouth today. And the exhales are abrupt and forceful so that you feel that you're exhaling all the air out very quickly, creating a vacuum at the belly so that the inhale happens on its own accord. You don't have to worry about the inhale. Just sit up straight, pick up the back of the scalp, pull the shoulder blades down the back, focus at the belly, inhale into that fire at the belly button, exhale completely, and you can join me when you're ready. Inhale, half the breath and begin. Short, sharp, quick. Exhale, breath through the nose. Pumping the belly. The rest of the body is still. Keep pumping the belly for 30. Twenty. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Exhale. All your out. Let it all out. Empty the belly. Empty the lungs. Hold the breath out. Pick up pelvic floor. Bring the chin down. Then pick up the chin. Relax pelvic floor. Inhale deeply. Inhale to the top of your lungs, to your collarbones, and then hold your breath. Sip a bit more air in. Swallow the breath down. Pick up pelvic floor. Bring your chin down and focus at your heart center. Visualize a bright light there from the center of your chest, getting brighter and bigger as you're holding your breath. Allow the body to be relax, allow the pelvic floor to be lifted, the chin to be tucked down and all your awareness to be there at the center of the chest. Then pick up the chin, relax pelvic floor and exhale through the nose. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale completely. Second round. When you're ready, join me. You can go at your own pace. Inhale, half a breath and begin. Pumping the belly. Pumping the fire. Keep sitting up still. Forceful breaths at the belly. Short, sharp, quick, exhale breaths. Focus at that fire. 30. 20. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Exhale completely. Let all the breath out, all the breath out. Hold the breath out, pick up pelvic floor, bring the chin down. Pick up the chin, relax pelvic floor. Inhale deeply. Inhale to the top. Sip a bit more air in. And when you're full, pick up the pelvic floor, bring the chin down and focus at the center of the chest. Visualize a bright light there. If you want to, you can listen to the sound of OM, the sound of expansion at the center of the chest. Pick up the chin, relax from the floor, exhale through the nose. Inhale deeply. 
Exhale completely. Keep the integrity of your sit. Sit up tall. We're going for a last round. When you're ready, if it gets too much, come back to normal breathing and join again when you're ready. All your awareness at the navel center. That feeling of warmth, heat, fire. Make your exhales as forceful as possible. Your face as relaxed as possible. Your chest as still as possible. Just pump the belly for 30. Twenty. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Exhale. Hold the breath out. Hold it out. Pick up the lip floor. Bring the chin down. Chin up. Relax the lip floor. Inhale deeply. Hold the breath in. Sip a bit more air in, swallow the breath down, pick up pelvic floor, chin down, roll the shoulders back, shoulder blades down, focus at your proud chest, the heart center, see the bright light there shining in all directions, listen to the sound of OM, feel the expansion. a few more seconds. Keep the integrity of your pose. Just pick up the chin, relax the pelvic floor and exhale through the nose. Inhale deeply. Open the mouth and exhale. Sit still. Feel the effects of the skull shining breath. Notice if anything comes up, feelings, thoughts. And bring your awareness back to your navel center, back to the fire behind the belly button. We're going to move to our digestion exercises bodily but also mental digestion. Last time we did it from a squatting position. You're welcome to repeat that. Otherwise, from a seated position, we're going for the same effect. Agni Sara. You can bring your hands to your thighs, whether you're standing up or whether you're still sitting down. And then from there, what you want is to inhale deeply, Open the mouth, exhale all the breath out and round your back. Pick up the pelvic floor, let all the breath out, hold the breath out, pull the belly in and everything up. When you're ready to inhale, first relax and then inhale, open up the chest and repeat. So what you want is to feel that you're Pulling everything in and up. So exhale everything. And then pull and lift. Relax and then inhale. 
One more time, exhale. If you're standing up, press heels onto the ground. If you're sitting down, press sit bones onto the ground. Lift the pelvic floor, lift everything down there. Pull the belly in, lift it up, create a vacuum under the rib cage. Imagine like you're inhaling without inhaling so that you suck everything in and up. And then first relax the belly and then inhale. Okay, so you can keep going or you can go for now only. So exhale all the breath out. Pick everything up. And then you can imagine that you're massaging your belly with your abdomen. Relax and inhale. Four more times. Agnisara or Nali. Exhale. Keep going, same variation. Pull everything in and up. Relax and then inhale. So you go for any variation, three more times. Relax and inhale. Two more, if you're doing now, they go the other direction. Last one. If you're standing up, stand up still. If you're sitting down, sit up still. Relax the forehead, the jaw, relax the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down the back. Keep your awareness at the fire behind the belly button. Now form a downward facing triangle with your hands and place that triangle in front of your belly button. Visualize the fire sitting there at the bottom of the triangle. And then use your hands to massage your belly. Allow that fire to grow bigger. Go up to the chest. Maybe cover the whole body. arms come to sitting down if you're not already there. We'll do our pelvic floor isolations. You want to feel that you're sitting down firmly. So maybe again you're sitting on a chair, maybe you're sitting on the ground, maybe you're sitting on a block, on a blanket, whatever it is, feel your sits bones on the ground. And imagine as you're exhaling that the sits bones, the bony parts of the pelvis at the bottom of the pelvis are coming in as you exhale. And out as you inhale. There's a natural contraction of the pelvic floor every time you exhale. So visualize the thin layers of muscles at the pelvis, squeezing in and there's a natural release as we inhale. So relax the pelvic floor. You can also think of the tailbone coming forward and the pubis coming back as your sit bones are coming in with the exhale. 
and everything moving away from the center as you inhale. So you feel that relaxation of the pelvic floor muscles. Option to keep doing this exercise, this visualization. Option to bring your arms up, elbows, shoulder height, pull the shoulders back and the shoulder blades down the back and have the palms facing your root, your pelvic floor. And then from there, what you want is to exhale forcefully two times and inhale, relax the pelvic floor. So as you exhale, you bring the palms down halfway and full way and inhale, come up. Palms keep facing the pelvic floor. If you're comfortable with nose gazing, gaze at your nose. Smell is the sense related to the pelvic floor, to our first energetic center. So exhale forcefully, squeeze pelvic floor, and exhale even more, squeeze harder, and inhale, relax. Squeeze, squeeze, release. Squeeze, squeeze, release. Trap, trap, relax. Pick up, pick up, let go. Ten more. Two. Squeeze, squeeze and hold. Hold it up. Pick up a little four. Six bones in. Tailbone forward. Pubic bone back. Keep squeezing the muscles there. Lift them up. And then when you're ready, relax. And inhale. Inhale into the pelvic floor. Allow it to feel completely released, relaxed. Keep sitting up tall and notice how you're feeling. Index and middle fingers to eyebrow center. Sit up tall and press those two fingers onto the eyebrow center. Feel an activation of your third eye, of that point behind your eyebrow center. Feel a calming sensation at the center of the brain. We're moving to alternate nostril breathing. Nadi Shodana. We're using the right hand and then the right thumb is next to the right nostril and the right ring finger is next to the left nostril. We're using thumb and ring fingers as pincers to block the nostrils. First, have both of nostrils open. Keep sitting up tall and exhale through both nostrils and we will alternate the breath through the nostrils. So block the right nostril, inhale through the left for five, Four, three, two, one. Switch, exhale right. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay, inhale right. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch, out left. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay, in left. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch, out right. Five, 
four, three, two, one. In right, five, four, three, two, one. Out left, five, four, three, two, one. In left, five, four, keep sitting up tall, one. Out right, five, four, relax the face, one. In right, five, four, three, two, one. Out left. Five, four, three, two, one. In left. Five, four. Let your breath be steady, continuous. Out right. Five, four, three, two, one. In right. Five, four, three, two, one. Out left. Five, four, three, two, one. In left. Five, four, three, two, one. Out right. Five, four, three, two, one. In right. Five, four, two, one. Out left. Five, four, two, one. In left. Out right. Two more rounds in left, out right, in right, out left, in left. arm and back to your normal breath a comfortable relaxed breath keep sitting up still keep your eyebrows relaxed your jaw relaxed stay present going to lie down for complete relaxation so find a comfortable position that works for you traditionally we lie face up arms by our sides shoulder blades away from the head chin slightly tucked in so that the back of the neck is long if another position works for you go for that you can do one more Exhale, where you squeeze the pelvic floor. And then inhale, relax it completely. Relax the whole body, allow the breath to be calm, natural, grounding. any areas of tension, just allow gravity to do its work so that everything surrenders to Mother Earth.
gently bring your awareness back. Back to your breath, breathe deeply into your belly. Breathe out. Feel the breath reaching your fingers, your toes, and inhaling to your fingers, your toes. Exhale, start moving slowly. We are going to come back to a seated position. So do as little as you need, as gently as you can, so that you find yourself back to a comfortable seat. You want to sit out tall. Sit in front of the sit bones, pick up the chest, roll the shoulders back, shoulder blades down the back, reach the back of the scalp up. We'll do our mantra practice. Mantra is the science of sound where we're focusing on the different Sanskrit phrases. Sanskrit being a vibrational language, its words have a vibrational quality. So focusing on those sounds will have an effect on how you're feeling, how you're thinking, how you're acting, how you're forming your life, how you're creating. All you need is to focus on the sound and preferably to have your energetic centers stuck up, meaning that you want to sit up tall if you find that the mantra has you sway back and forth or in any way, just allow the mantra to do its work. Focus on the sound, that's all you need to do. Keep the body relaxed, keep an integrity in your body and focus on the sound. Repeat the sounds with me. If you make mistakes, that's fine, just keep trying it. When you do these exercises on your own, you can do them silently. So sitting up tall, we'll start with the Ganesha mantra again. Ganesha being the deity of removing all obstacles. So that's a great way to start our mantra practice. You want to focus on the sound of Om, Gam, Ganapataye, Namaha. So there's different Ganesha mantras. This is a quite short one. Om, the sound of the universe, of expansion, of the sun as it revolves around itself. Gam, the bija mantra, the seed sound for the quality of Ganesha, removing obstacles. Ganapata, again another name for Ganesha, removing obstacles from our life, keeping us on our path and making our path the easiest and most productive path it can be. Ye, an upward flexion of the energy. Namaha, I call thy name. I honor you. It's a good. It's a way to end mantras. Om Gam. Ganapata. Ganapata. Ye. Namaha. So join me on the third repetition, and just focus on the sound. Om Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha 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 Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha Om Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha Om Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha Ta Ye Namaha Om Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha Om Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha Om Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha Om Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha Om Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha Om Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha Om Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha Om Gam Ganapata Ye Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha Om Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha Om Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha Om Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha Ye Namaha Om Gam Ganapata 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 Gam Ganapata Yanamaham, Gam Ganapata Yanamaham, Gam Ganapata Yanamaham, 
gam gana bada yena ma hom gam gana bada yena ma hom gam gana bada yena ma hom gam gana bada yena ma gam gana bada yena ma hom gam gana bada yena ma sit still the vibrations to the second mantra. We will repeat last week's mantra. Mantra practice is uh, all about consistency. You have to do it probably every day. You have to keep repeating these sounds so that you allow the neural pathways in the brain to form accordingly. You're restructuring, rewiring your brain. So the more you do it, the more it can take action. It can have an effect repetition and intensity so keep an intense undivided focus on the sound this is a heart and throat mantra a love mantra opening you up to receiving love opening you up to creating love opening you up to happiness and health because this life is about love expressing it and receiving it in your unique way so sit up tall Focus at the sound, nothing else matters. Keep a tall seat, keep integrity in your seat. You can relax the muscles of the face, but then maybe different things will happen during the mantra. It's fine, just focus on the sound. Aum, ahum, pat, swaha. Aum, ahum, pat, swaha. Hold your focus on the sound. You can join me on the third repetition. Again, we start slow, we go faster, and then we slow it down to wind it down. You can go at your own pace or simply listen when it gets too fast. Aum, ahum, pat. Swaha, Aum, Ahum, Patswaha, 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 Aum, Patswaha, Aum, Ahum, 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 Patswaha, Sit still.
stay present, stay receptive. Anything that comes up, acknowledge it. There's a difference between acknowledging and letting it take you somewhere else. Stay present and watch, feel, listen. our Mani Mantra as our last mantra. Mani is the currency that we work with in these periods of time. Maybe it's outdated but it is what it is. So we need to stay open to that flow of money so that we can have access to resources, so that we can have access to people and so we can then provide to people, have access to more audiences, be of service, and spread the love. It's four Sanskrit letters. There's again longer mantras. Next time we can do a longer mana, mana mantra. This time we can stick to what we did last time. full integrity in your body, with your face relaxed, your shoulder blades relaxed, inhale deeply and allow that breath to carry the work throughout the body. Exhale completely and allow the work to find its home in your body. One more time, inhale deeply, let everything we've done today spread throughout the body to every cell of your body. And then 
so completely allow every cell to get nourished, nurtured, fed by the practice. We finish our practice with Kaya Stira, complete stillness. Allow your body to be completely still. And come back to that place of observing. Stay receptive to anything that comes up. Feelings, thoughts, insecurities, insights, ideas. As if they're not really yours, just watch them. Learn from them, but don't let them take you away. Stay here and stay receptive. takes you away, come back, come to this moment, watch, feel, listen. receptive to grace, stay receptive to everything life has to offer. We'll finish our practice now, so take a deep inhale from your roots all the way up to the crown of the head. Open the mouth, exhale out. One more time, inhale deeply. All the way up. So through the mouth. Relax your arms by your sides. Roll your shoulders all the way back and bring your hands to heart center. Allow your head to bow down to the hands, to the heart. Thank you for your commitment, for your effort. It's important to have a seated practice. It's important to work with our inward self. So we're stronger, especially nowadays that the world is going crazy. So we keep working on the inside. It will be amazing how your outside will also change. The life inside me honors and celebrates the life inside you. Namaste.